this one. Um, Sandy and Sam are grandparents that are now raising their grandchildren? Correct, yep. And uh, the grandchildren's names are Brianna, Brandon, Haley, and Hannah? Yes. And boy, you hear this often uh, where, the, you know, parents figure, okay, now it's time for me to be, you know, the fun grandparent, and then they can't be the fun grandparent anymore because they have to become the parent, be become the parent again. and move in when, when there's uh, the need for them to do that. And boy, they love their grandchildren, so <laughs> yeah. they need a little bit of help right now. Yeah. All right. And how do you guys, how do you know these guys? My, they're my parents, so. Okay. They're your parents, okay. So you're yeah. the kids, right. you're the kids' auntie. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Auntie Rachel uh, to the rescue. Yeah. Here we go. We're going to make the phone call. Hold on a second, you guys. Mute your phones. Okay. Hello? Good morning. Is this Sandy? This is. Hi, Sandy. It's Mojo in the morning. Hi. How are you? I don't mean to catch you off guard and call you so early in the morning. We got a beautiful letter written about you and Sam. Really? Yeah. We do a thing here on our show called Breaking and Entering Christmas Wish. And people write us letters about great people in the community during the holidays. And can I have that person read you the letter? Sure. That would be awesome. All right. Take a listen to your phone. Just listen closely, okay? Okay. Okay. Dear Mojo in the Morning, I would like to begin by saying that my parents are two of the most amazing and selfless people you will ever meet. My dad works very hard at two jobs when he could be retiring soon, but he is literally just trying to keep a roof over our heads and food on the table, and it goes very quickly with four growing bodies to feed. Drug addiction has torn our family apart, and my parents have recently taken on the responsibility of their four grandchildren, two sets of twins, 16 months apart, ages 7 and 8. They are now beginning the process of adoption, trying everything they can to keep the kids out of the foster care system, where they could be split up, living with strangers, and risk the chance of never seeing them again. My parents are really doing their best to support the kids financially and emotionally, but it's been a very big struggle, especially during the holidays. All four of these children have been bounced from home to home, parent to parent, and even out of state and back many times. We have always been the children's safe landing, but that doesn't change all that they've been through. Nothing that we do can replace all of their bad memories. They last came to us with only the clothes on their backs. We've been able to get by with donations, but they don't have much that is brand new to call their own. This is actually the first time that they've all had their own beds to sleep in. These kids have lived a very difficult life after 11 different homes and 7 different schools. With little parental participation in their lives, adjusting to all the changes has been a challenge. What breaks my heart the most is hearing all of their questions about seeing or speaking to their mom and dad ever again. We could give them anything in the world, but we will never replace their parents. Although they really do belong with us, they will still always wish for their mom and dad to be in their lives. These children deserve to have a wonderful Christmas, but at this point, we can't even give them a Christmas tree. If you pick us, I promise you would not regret it, and you would really be changing these kids' lives. And not to mention, two grandparents that are just trying to make it by after all that they've been through. With love, Rachel Maniachi. If you can go to your front door, matter of fact, I think there'll probably be a knocking on the front door here right in a now. second. Yeah. Oh. Do you hear that? I do. Oh, good morning. Oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. They got a little oh cat, too. Sandy, we call it breaking and entering Christmas wish because we're breaking into your home this morning to bring Christmas oh, to your home. Oh my gosh, I just don't even know what to say. Oh, thank you so much. Rachel oh. is there. Rachel? Yep. yep. How, how's how is mom doing? <laughs> She's a, a little bit freaking out, I think. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of people and a lot of gifts out front. <laughs> Oh, wow. Rachel Grandma told us. Now, uh, what's that, uh, Joe? Grandma's shocked right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rachel told us about you and, uh, and Sam and how great you guys are as parents and now as grandparents. And we want to bring Christmas to that home. No way. Yes. Hi, Sam. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> uh, shocked? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, we are oh. we are right now carrying in 
Tons of gifts for Brianna, Please. Brandon, oh my gosh. I Haley, and Hannah. Oh, I, I see that. Jeez. Come oh. on in. <laughs> Thank you so much. You have no idea. We're hoping we can we can give them a little bit of a Christmas this year with all these toys and stuff we're bringing oh, in. It's, oh, my gosh. It's overwhelming. I just can't even believe it. We also have a very special friend with us this morning. Abby is with us from Community Choice Credit Union. And Abby... You wanted to share with this family the gifts of the holidays, and will you uh, say hello to them? Hi. Um, you know, at Community Choice, uh, we give big all year round, and it's even more special at the holidays. Uh, I think we had something like over 100 team members all chip in to give this family Christmas, and it's just so awesome to be a part of an organization that really values people that way. And by the way, we caught you off guard because you're crying. I can tell. <laughs> That's all right, Abby. It's, oh. it's hard not to. Yeah. When, thank you, guys. At Community Choice Credit Union. I am. I am. I'm speechless. Sandy, you do your... your husband is too. And, and, and we can't forget about you, Sam. <laughs> guys, you guys are really a blessing, and you know that, you know, all these trials that you have right now of just trying to keep things together are tough but boy brianna and brandon Haley, and hannah are going to benefit from this you guys stay stay there and stay stay with the fight we're going to have uh, all those gifts brought in we're also going to bring in um hundreds of dollars worth of meyer gift cards so that you guys can have enough food for the holidays oh my gosh thank you so much and no idea. We also understand that one of uh, one of your granddaughters uh, is a huge One Direction fan. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> Which one likes One Direction? You? Say hi to Mother. Yeah. Hi. Uh, is that little Haley or Hannah? That would be Brianna. 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 I'm sorry. Hi, Brianna. Brianna. Hey, hey, Brianna. Santa Claus. <laughs> She she just saw her American Girl doll. Oh, did she? <laughs> She's going American Girl doll. <laughs> Santa Claus told us that you love One Direction, so Santa Claus gave our friend Steve over at PrimeSeats.com the gift of two tickets that we want to give to you so that you can go see One Direction. No, but... Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Brianna, you're gonna go. You're gonna go see One Direction. Did I hear you say that Aunt Rachel likes One Direction too? <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> you guys have a Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for letting us into your home this morning. And you know, Thank after you so much. eight years of these kids bouncing around from home to home to house, you guys are their angels on earth. I hope you know that. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Rachel, thanks for telling us about them. Oh, no. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. We're about to set this Christmas. Oh, for each one of you guys, you guys get new bikes. A new Merry bike. Christmas. There you go. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You deserve Merry one Christmas. of the best Christmases, oh honestly. Merry Christmas. Oh, you. Hey, no, Merry Christmas. Christmas. No way. Thank you. you. Get to see One Direction. Are you so excited? <laughs> Alright, don't tell nobody. But I'm a big One Direction fan too. Who's your favorite one? Me <laughs> too! How did this happen? What happened? What happened? I don't <laughs> <laughs> Just a normal guy. Can they open your gifts, girls? Absolutely. You guys want to open your gifts? Huh? Want to open your gifts? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's this one? Brandon. Brandon? Here's your gift, Brandon. Okay, which one? This is me. Unbelievable. Where's Hannah at? Hannah. Brianna, I have one for you. For what? Thank you, Hannah. You're welcome. You guys want to see what this has to be? Hannah, this one's for you, too. I appreciate that. Wow. What you guys are doing is awesome. Oh, my gosh. Look at you guys. 
Christmas tree? Yes, yeah. Okay. What about you, Hannah and Haley? You guys gonna? I got a great idea. You guys wanna set up a Christmas tree? T-shirt. Come on. No way. Let's do it. What? It's summer. Nice. Yeah. Clap